we are going to take a look at the Wayback Machine. Uh, this is a really cool uh, website that allows you to go back in time and to browse a website's history. Uh, so this is especially useful if you are trying to uh, go to a web page or a website that is now down uh, or it, it doesn't exist anymore. So this goes beyond just taking a snapshot of a page as an image so you can see what it looks like. And it actually indexes it as a usable web page with uh, all of the links that uh, work as well. So uh, to get started here, we're going to show you a few different ones. Uh, we're going to start with our uh, school district's web page. We'll take a look at it, what it looks like now. And then we're going to jump back in history and see what it looked like. So we're going to take a look at monishores.net. We're going to browse that history. Uh, and there's times where this website is a little bit slow. Depending on the number of times a site has been indexed, uh, it may take a little bit longer. So this isn't super fast, uh, so you might have to be patient here. So we're going to take a look at you know, January 2nd, 2017, which was a couple of days ago now. And it's going to give us really what our website looks like now. So this is currently what the monashores.net uh, web page looks like. And I can see it's, it's a live version. It's live from January 2nd, uh, now where it currently is. So this is what was on the website a couple of days ago, not necessarily what it is there now. And I can also see up here, I got my timeline, which continues. So I'm just simply going to jump back in time. I'm going to take a look back at May 2nd, 2003. And our website looks a little bit different from then till now. So this is back on May 1st, 2003. This is what our district website looked like. Uh, you'll also find times where a image uh, doesn't exist anymore. So you get this little placeholder. So this is where the school logo was. This image didn't get indexed, isn't on a web server anymore. So here's the uh, district web page, uh, classroom resources. So again, these are live links. So I can see back in 2003 uh, what the home page looked like. And then I can see also uh, what the web page looked like uh, here as well. So again, missing a few image. But if I want to jump back, I can see back what the Mona Shores web page looked like back on 2003. So it becomes very useful for me to go back in time and see exactly what it looked like. Um, also, what's kind of fun is for me to go back and search some social media uh, websites. So I, I posted about this on the blog, but uh, if I go back and let's say I want to see Google, which the home page has not changed a whole lot over time, but the information that is there has. So here's what Google looks like. And again, its timeline is uh, pretty packed. But I can see back in 1998 and 1999, not a whole lot of activity going on at Google. Uh, but if I take a look at January 1st, I can see that this had been indexed uh, 73 times. Even though Google uh, hasn't changed its uh, web page, uh, just the amount of activity, the Internet Archive knows that it's a pretty popular site, uh, so it continues to go back to it. So if I were to take a look, uh, you know, January 1st, what it looked like, let's go ahead and jump back in time, back 1998, and uh, we'll see probably the first existence of Google. So I can see here that uh, on November 11th, uh, one snapshot was taken. Uh, December 2nd, a snapshot was taken as well. So it's always fun to take a look at some really popular sites now and to see what they look like when they first started, uh, especially for uh, students to take a look at and uh, kind of take a look and see what it looked like a few years ago. So I can see here where you know Google has some company logos, and I can say about Google and some company information, and uh, I could subscribe to their updates. You know, I wonder if this uh, still works. So that's always a uh, fun one to take a look at. Um, taking a look at some social media websites as well is always fun to take a look at. So to jump back, and uh, Facebook is another one that uh, actually 
Facebook in 1999 was actually a different company than what Facebook is now. So if I go back, you know, February 4th, 1999, I'm going to see that Facebook.com actually wasn't Facebook at all. Uh, it was a completely different uh, website. So uh, one last thing we'll take a look at before we go is the Internet Archive isn't just the Wayback Machine, but it also has uh, archived information, text, books, uh, movies, TV. I've got a bunch of audio files. I've got old software and images. So uh, it's a great resource if I want to go back and to find public domain information that are in different formats uh, besides this Wayback Machine. But Wayback Machine, very useful for jumping back in time and finding websites of what they look like uh, at a certain point in history.